what? In most situations, you can tell the stories and they kind of have to become an angel and you have to kind of walk out to save yourself to the opportunity to have a link you can only connect to the board and YouTubers to see through. Let's just like how since the only one who's really mentioned the narrative that the development is hungry and he doesn't just if you can see it's a lady shirt and our picture and stuff that you can keep in his attention so much more like black people. So that's the cut by curricula. Let's just not to tell the practice for me. You may show up at the school of the parent giggles of his emotion and narrative maintain some of the schools. You believe there is a work of an added gym for Arizona 20 from God's route. I don't mention any sort of the field because he's just a little bit of a robot. I say it's like black people. You wish your partner only tells the girls from her cell. He's the way the southern women can so we're between my backup and racialized group of facts by the part of the second mother land of cheating stuff on the first visit. We made two programs of Americratic explanations of Nutella behind a race of the top concerning logging into the middle of the cheating and the dominant education system because of Marshall's national identity that turns white settlers into citizens of black and indigenous people into bodies to be re disciplined to reproduce the settler state that's got one. Map of good education, education in such a much national identity any offense that he claims that the authority can start to meet your own point, settler conduct of systems, practice of practice, and the system of schooling, education at the universal fund state mandate and standardized. Basically, the six skills of the fence is saying, you acknowledge the board without requiring an autocratic apparatus to blame their mind and controlling their body capable of executing social and cultural reproduction. And standardized tests cannot be disentangled from the history of the tool of the giants and white supremacy. There's no reform to systems of standardization and tend to dehumanize and commodify only total break from current educational models of necessary that's got two. Conceptualization of education when one is due to humanization, commodification, teaching with discipline factor work to utilize efficient means to ensure students for small and sort of synthetic tests for uh for example, by genetics is for students to what natural superior to welcome white males high six standard tests distinguish cl uh disguised class and race for those merit ever since other technology standard tests include to be a pivotal apparatus and sense to model the capital of our production to education they determine universal notes and aspect and compared to Mark Dugan's our human population to this apparatus to make the end of American culture myth and meritocracy, for to imagine how an institution can to serve the violent race of nation taken up to be reformed. And part two is the advocacy. We endure the resolution through the pedagog pedagogical model of digital learning. Digital learning is necessarily normalized with respect to Eurocentric academia that mobilizes the skills necessary to engage in resistance against settler colonialism and anti blackness as they tell too. As it doesn't much to learn about learning itself and learning is not actually against settler side effects of teaching to these critical notes as they back up the construction of a resolution can be a form of future to be as well as it also had a strong connection to learning. When not learning being learned, teaching the outfit and learning community through organizing partnership, covert collaboration, ongoing through the education of black and Asian people, so regularly through years of the curriculum that they do not even need, but they do not even need to teach each other in the permeable truth that they do each of the Learning has never yielded fully to the settler project of the settler within the open and hopefully social movement that could direct action. Ruby sells back into the civil rights movement, which is a bit spiritually down to practice. It means the kind of culture of education that they engage in community projects as the youth. They have teachers learning to essentially perform each arm of the classes because this continues to offer sneak years into universal culture. In such a black space, God's ideal and institution models they let the independent of the academy through knowledge of study, neither can replace themselves to purpose of the future of learning cognitive and technical resistance to the body of body and mind. And future learning cards are spaces within the university as kernels of radical potential. That's Kelly 16. I would know you most of the black to learn to convert racism to learning active future from the community versus DPA are as well as to be a few demands beyond the relationship between the modern education by spread anti racist literature with the radical for study or direct electoral to learn or real intellectual to gain jazz acting think collectively such as social movement that agree as get refuge and exceptions from the uncomfortable way of being in but not out of the university university as well as believing in the politics of lobby for active or control over is our only salvation and country is framing. The role of the towards the best methodology for the oppressed through the limitations of models of education replicate the logic of standardization they over represent education with accomplishment and reinforce white supremacy as until three. Learning is also predictability from education and mathematics or promise versus the six of learning commitment, transformation of one software, consequence of fundamental academic models that the current structure education must work to satisfy the standards of promise and opportunity that meritocracy education for delicious not linear to progress, which is a protecting space for unrealistic form of learning. Both these theories of learning complete learning and heading into medical production because the elimination of our social gap as it conduces to the distance of the production of this gap while people were present in the little underlying labors of those were created. Pedagogical practice for resistance of reference by the side to such productive factory mills going in. Our framing is not attached to a singular understanding of history or political engagement, but allows us to hold multiple methods. Together in productive tension, that's until four. Let's see if not production of future practice, all because of all the tension, not just by the project of conversation, not for the support of political and spiritual education, not long thing under articulated life of the project of and religion to a different perspective of the civil rights, considering how learning is different from what is also achieved in education, for the final education, which is learning actually is. Learning is future demands, which should not want to be a college created, because it's a big ability for achievement. And what cannot be come to attention, but one is building the time better than the other country, and one is not aware when it's being co opted, while the other is still neoliberal winning, and the choice of what to play. And the act is not equivocate black and indigenous struggle, but rather posits a parallel politics of co resistance as Grand 18. Gender free converge use of reject settler logic, but also posits a parallel politics of co resistance and parallel politics of dialectic co co resistance. Those who claim a commitment to refusing rights for example, settlers able to make interconnecting movements between colonization, so that means someone who's working for refusing to refuse to call for more inclusive sanctions for the development of sovereign state funds. After the university, the homogeneity is not little, but rather the core petitioner ethics and analytics rather than allies for accomplishment. And gender politics can never be liberatory after the framework that centers settler colonialism. That's Kate in Photoshop 19. Plus, even indigenous gender led to settler sexuality, white and national heritage over to language such as gender and sexuality cannot fully describe white indigenous and antisism. We must also use the illusory for sexual substitute, not an accepted English one can describe something so abstract and just for transfer examples from the large decolonial movement led to the larger movement. For a few years, 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 for a Uh, what is the future of learning? Uh, 
Yeah, sure. So we will defend, we will say that fugitive learning is a process of uh, learning and studying pedagogy that's untelelogical, i.e. it does not have a set endpoint, and it's not engaged in fugitive learning to reach some kind of end. So if there's no set point, set endpoint to the app, like what is the result of uh, The argument is that there's no set point to instant, there's no set endpoint to instantiation of fugitive learning, i.e. the argument of, of the fugitive learning or pedagogy is, is that uh, it's not learning for the sake of doing some something else or creating some other kind of like adequacy or skills. Uh, but the argument is that uh, future learning itself is a spontaneous form of study that can resist and steal from the university. Okay, uh, so is the adequacy like colleges and universities don't consider standardized tests? The is adequacy like, is we endorse resolution through the Okay, but does the app like the, uh, the standardized tests go away or does that colleges stop considering standardized tests? We, the app does not see out anything. You don't get anything? Yeah. No. Okay, so uh, then what is your relation to resolution? What do you mean, what is my relation? Like, you say you defend the revolution. What is we the endorse revolution through the pedagogical model of future learning, i.e. all the harms evidence has isolated by standardization and standardized tests are a settler colonial outgrowth. In response to that, we propose a uh, model of future learning, uh, which endorses kind of spontaneous forms of study, ontological and modes of, uh, ontological modes of study and organizing that lead to uh, stealing from the university and kind of resistance okay. against it. Uh, the harms, the Scott one evidence, what part of this is about standardized tests? Uh, sure. Uh, so the Scott evidence is making a broader claim about the uh, dominant education system and why that is unnecessarily standardized. It talks about uh, rigid, uh, rigid uh, curriculum, uh, the way that teachers are taught, and why uh, mass public education is universal, publicly funded, state mandated. It talks about like race to the top, no child left behind, those kinds of things that uh, homogenize. The Scott education evidence system. seems to suggest that like these are all results of some sort of like neoliberal takeover of education. No, uh, you can read it. Line, I read you a line of Scott evidence. It's constructed as a means to transform white settler colonists into citizens. The project provides uh, the standardized yeah, system right before that, making like it the, the, the subject of that sentence is state supporting mass educational system. Does yes. the app get rid of that state supporting mass educational system? The app uh, endorses a model of future learning. We say that is a necessary first step, and we say that is the only method that can engage in resistance to break down uh, mass education, uh, settler colonialism, and in, in resistance against anti blackness. Um, no, but tell two evidence. Can you give me like a material example of what it means to like embrace fugitivity? Yeah, there are like eight. Uh, so in the Patel two evidence, uh, I think it to make more of a structural claim about what fugitive learning is. The Kelly sixteen evidence, however, talks about uh, the community university at U Chicago, the BMC at University of Michigan, uh, Ruby Sells Black Spiritual. Wait, wait, wait. What what did like the movements do specifically? Uh, sure. So uh, the. Kelly evidence isolates the BMC at New Michigan, which I can just give you an example of. It provided anti-racist literature, uh, methods, and spaces uh, inside and out of the So they just like, gave people pamphlets and they were like, No, I was and, like, continuing to answer your question. Uh, it carved up spaces for radical study, uh, spontaneous modes of organizing, uh, like lectures, uh, things like uh, uh, talks and engagement with uh, ways to deal with racist university policies, ways to uh, engage in systems outside of just compromising with the administration. Uh, um, methods of like stealing from the university. Sorry. Sorry.
Interpretation of Gators must disclose all constructive positions out of open source of highlighting and underlining on the 2018, 9, 20, 19, 2020, NTA only working 30 minutes or less after the round in which the rhythm violation of the screen section in the doc, they only full text. Uh, uh, prefer one academic entirety. Anything else means you can discuss evidence. There's no way to check for the remedies. You can guard ridiculous self and such. They'll say I have some pressure to check, but it's insufficient to check out. Every government in the app that would be denigrated with perfectly proper on substance proper outweighs academic entirety. It's considered to be based on 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 academic entirety. It's considered to be based on
intersectionality is a group that a group that go around the picture of They don't care about the app's college question means. They don't care about intersectionality. They don't care about how the app would affect material people in the world and not confuse. They just should, like just like take the ivory tower stand and they're like, okay, cool, we have solved racism now, which is obviously a link to the critique of the, the top, the top, going to the top the advantage. The Patel one and this one is this is a criticism of history books, not history. They don't solve any of their arguments because it's just a criticism of the way that it's a dominant of history books nowadays. They just take out testing, have no argument for these all seconds. The discussion doesn't solve, it's just an internal link to material effects. The critique effects all come first because the discussion has no implication aside from whether it helps the people in the material world. The Scott one and one and all their claims are true. The app can't solve it, just being coded into the system of education. They do nothing to get co opted in this educational space because they're debated in an educational space, but saying the other people co opted that recreates co optimism because they only tell minorities that they want to solve their impacts, and they never actually do so. Which Causes a constant cycle of uh, rupturing and corruption. The second is this part about state mandated tests because they don't solve because they're not about the Rosen and Scott 2 evidence. It's a fallacy of order just because tests were originally the race doesn't mean they are so now. They have no evidence proving that race tests are racist right now because uh, the, uh, the function of things can change way, the way that we repurpose arguments and, 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 and we repurpose arguments and, and institutions in order to benefit people and reduce contingent violence against minorities is obviously, uh, obviously something that we, do, that we should allow. The advocacy one for journalism is that the Patel one evidence advocates are jumping off slaves list ships as we should say. That option is not accessible to some people. The Apple Telescope. Student food stamps, who is the only hope is graduating from college, just rejected food stamps in college. That's obviously not a feasible option. It's a paternalism. It's that second. The Patel evidence says that the university co opted the argument. This is a delta in the erosion. There's a line that the neoliberal university will co opt any forms of scholarship that you try to produce, meaning that they just do not solve anything. The Kelly evidence, the undercut of is just ivory tower theorizing. You should go negative on presumption. The app does nothing. Their examples in CS were very clear on this. They were just like, we give literature and stuff. And I was like, what, what do you do other than give literature? They were like, oh, we give speeches and stuff. Obviously, giving literature and speeches does nothing if it has no material impact in the world. They cannot explain it. They cannot, they, they cannot explain that in the context of they, can, they cannot explain that in the context of the app. Uh, case, the cards. Objective testing to decentralization, it deals with the uncertainty and incentivize the structure 3 1 circle 15. Except there are none of the objective pretty crushes, maybe one, maybe even objective, maybe else comfortability. The principal can compare questions against the district government, the county government, the state average, the picture on this little road, compare notes, watch the community, examine the bit, the best way to hold schools to find the identity of the principal, the policy to identify schools that need intervention, the authority need intervention. That term is case because otherwise you can never identify which schools are settlers and which schools are not serving any students. We can never do that or hold them accountable. Otherwise, which is that we need information about settlers and we'll hold them accountable. Right? Yeah. Did you get the right cup Yeah, that's okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, is the method possible in the world of different critique authors? Oh, like a fully baked? Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, why is the university in U Chicago, which was dedicated to kind of modes of organizing, mutually exclusive with uh, an alternative that is about modes of organizing which and resistance? The example in the 1AC that was given in the, in the Cali evidence. Yeah, why because, is that mutually exclusive? Uh, your with examples, modes of organizing that your alternative calls Yeah, for. your examples of organizing is the actually were just like we Pamphlet. We give no, pamphlet. I gave you it's asked about a specific hold on. You asked about a specific example, and I gave you a specific, a specific example of what the BMC did. Why are you reducing yeah. the entirety of the method? Those to examples one of what the BMC did were entirely academic theorizing. Like we give them pamphlets, we give them no, speeches, we invite like some you don't, like, professors you don't know to see what happened. Happened. Yeah. Yeah. That is not like a, a material implementation sure. of an anti uh, What's the impact of competing interpretations? Uh, that you evaluate the theory. They no, I know what competing interpretation is. I'm saying what is the impact to it? Like that is the implication to it. No, I'm saying what is the impact to competing interpretations? Like I.e., what is the impact to debating about models of debate? Like why is that valuable? Um, like that's otherwise we could never resolve the theory. Of it. That okay? Uh, sure. Uh, the dean evidence. What's the warrant? Uh, like the act is a form of obsession with failure because it's just like Why? the university is super like corrupted. The entire app is about how these like dominant forms of education are corrupted. Okay, we and say the that the university is settlerist and yeah. founded on indigenous uh, land. Uh, yeah. What about and that? The, like, the app's solution to that is these like small projects of like small educational luxury of these spaces. Sure, like, as opposed to the uh, oh, so what's a concrete instantiation of the alternative? Uh, so Dean uses the heuristic of uh, red, black, and green. So it's a combination of economic justice, racial justice. Yeah, give and me a concrete justice, example. Like uh, the Black Panther Party. What? Like trying to like like. Wait, have so you don't think that the Black Panther Party was an instantiation of fugitivity? You think it's like the, the way that you have articulated fugitivity in the app is just like a stance in relation. Give to me other concrete spaces. example. Wait, okay, give me other concrete examples. Uh, like pushing for Medicare for all in like the real world, uh, things like that. Okay, so I guess so. Know. Is the is the alternative status or anti-status? Um, it says that the way the state works right now is bad, but that does not mean we cannot work for like reductions of contingent violence. Like if okay. the state does a violent thing, and we have the power to stop that violent thing. Uh, like, sure. How do, the the state, how do we have the power to stop it? How do we have the power to stop it? Like how do we have the power to change the state? Yeah. 
Yeah, how? Like the dean evidence says that like the entire point of this communist organizing is that uh, like it relies on people. No, I'm asking like how do you or I have the power to change the state? Yeah, the dean evidence would indict that question because it says that the only reason like this revolution has not happened or that like uh, like the state has not changed already is that people are like the state obviously won't change and they just like never commit that themselves to the act of change. That seems very reductionist, but I'll start there. So the order is going to be uh, disclosure case T. Yeah. Thank you. 
purpose, no, our argument is that it's a way from the university, they both discover me, you say paternalism because it'd be about jumping off the slave ships. No, it talks about why fugitivity in, uh, a, uh, during chattel slavery was, a, uh, uh, during slavery was about jumping off the slave ship, but that it, now fugitivity is about, uh, about fugitive learning, and carving out new spaces, you say that it, it, the university co opted, but no, our fatal evidence literally says that we need to put our sites away from the, uh, from, uh, from the university, you say that it's only ivory tower, but no, we've given you material examples, but the alternative, you say objective tests are good, but, uh, you can think the, uh, the, 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 the university founded on anti black violence, the T shell. Top Gallery of Standardization and Universal Law's Educational Model, the Standard by the Project Conduct and Advocate Justice, the Project Continued Standardization, and the Inherently Bad Alchemy, the Country Report, which together in the Philippine Post, they bring you their universal advocacy for defense of the soldiers for the nation state. On their arguments, on their arguments, they said there's limits, but no, the only reason you didn't want to get in South, you didn't want to get in South because it's from a literature base that you give epistemic to the suspect and not work, and don't forget to engage, i.e., you will engage in every single other a tiny specific hyper specific LARP argument, but you will not engage our Why see that answers all your arguments about it, that also answers your argument about making it about viewing the after presumptively false because uh, the reason that you, you, uh, you presumpt it, it is a not unique argument is that you do not want to engage in the scholarship but that was going to be given after the suspect to you because black and the scholarship was always being done on the fringe. You say, uh, you, you say that this kills kind of clash in education but the only reason you don't want to clash or engage is because uh, you're taking no word of a model policy making also the generation decided that you, uh, your model debate would exclude, you, uh, exclude kind of a history and legacy of critical debate, i.e. Uh, uh, Louisville, Oklahoma records are all a uh, waste of it and engaging in kind of future pedagogy that it actually changed within after the debate stage which should well, be evaluated over your uh, over all your arguments about um, no topicality because you've been, you've been uh, isolated, uh, uh, isolated a net benefit to kind of fiat or uh, engaging in things that won't actually happen, uh, which is the reason why we should engage in what, what's the best pedagogical strategy rather than the best model to make because of no impact competing interpretation because I'm not going to stop reading not yet because of this round. But, uh, but this will probably force you to read more depth into the literature and also proves that our arguments about critical debate have made empirical change in the debate phase, which you should uh, prefer over any other kind of argument because it's about how we change debate and outside about the, the cap today. Permutation do both. They said the Black Panther Party and instantiation of their alternative, which is a reason why this is a form of fugitivity, which means it's a net benefit analysis of settlers and capitalism. All their arguments about commerce politics make it so that we can only ice the ca capitalism and capitalism can explain why the government spends millions of dollars building residential schools to so force indigenous students into it. If that's the case, then you need the affirmative in order to actualize both uh, the, the alternative and the. Ah. Sorry, uh, I had four.
Uh, the first was that uh, you not wanting to read or engage in kind of the arguments or read the card is rooted in kind of this anti-black sentiment where uh, you do not think it's important enough for you to actually read, but you just want like the easy way out. Uh, the second impact turn was that it abstracts away from material conversations about anti-blackness and feminism. That's important. Okay. Um, yeah, I think the other thing that I source uh, T implementation case. What was that? Open source mm -hmm. T implementation case. Several overviews on the open source debate. The first is that the one error conceded, like four reasons why fairness outweighs the act they don't get to weigh the case. Anyway, is that it's a question of procedural fairness. Here's the distinction between procedural and, and substantive fairness. If I was playing basketball with LeBron James, it would not be unfair if he was bigger or stronger than me. You wouldn't be unfair if he was able to travel because that precludes your ability to determine who did the better basketball play. Similarly, the app was debate traveling. And if I win a list of the links of procedural fairness, that indicates that you cannot test the rest of the app in the first place. They concede to so many other norms of fairness in debate, like, the, like size and speech times, and it would be incoherent for them to resist this one instance. Of fairness, that would be his verifiability. They asked for the ballot, asked for you to judge the, the arguments on the line on the center, which is they presume some value in fairness. If they didn't, then you should just go ahead and negate anyway because they don't care about fairness. Some point says that it turns the average because you're excluding my scholarship and telling me that I don't matter, I should be excluded from this round, etc. That was also an argument why it turns it out was under the rule that I was considering another one. See, some point D was a testing argument. This argument also means that they cannot win case because fairness is precluded, is precluded, or you cannot test the app claims in the first place because they were unfairly written. I did not have the chance to contest them fairly, which means you don't know if the app claims are true, you should not allow them to win case. These arguments were we're all just straight conceded from the one ear, and you should not allow a two ear articulation of this argument because it was in the one ear and they had the chance to respond. The second overview is that fairness outweighs all, all their education. Often, some point is that fairness outweighs on time frame. Education takes a long time to manifest all their app benefits. It would take years for us to manifest and have a like, require multiple rounds. But fairness is immediate and all. You can only recover once you uh, once you sign your ballot. She said you should prioritize in this round. Some point is reversibility. We can always get education for all the rounds or future rounds. I think that fairness is specific to this ballot and you can for this round. You cannot solve it. Some point is constitutivism. My debate is a game in education. Is the impact under the fairness is the only thing that's constitutive of, it, of, of debate. That was only the fairness way that was in the one seat above whether it means that education is not constitutive. The last argument is that ed ed engagement outweighs even under education. They have no fairness options, which is if I just extend the and engagement internally to fairness, that should be that should, that should be enough. But even if they win education, I'll win engagement always under education. Some point eight is to have the forces of debaters to read the cards twice because they have to read it before the round and during the round to make sure you and, and during the round make sure it's more in depth education because we read the round cards once to get our own understanding of it, then read it again in the round to understand your understanding of the cards and Understanding, uh, understandings against each other. Some of these have precluded substantive education of the app. I, if I don't know what the app says before the round, it's obviously going to lead to some part engagement because I won't be able to engage with the app, uh, engage with the app in the round. Some points these scholarship, you hide all your scholarship, which turns all of their options because they also don't want to discuss, uh, they, they, with, like, I don't want to discuss my scholarship or indigenous scholarship, but they also don't want to discuss because they are hiding their scholarship, making it difficult. Some of these accessibility is far from novices who have never read this argument before to like, read, read entire articles and process them. There's no novices who obviously require some, uh, some, uh, some highlighting. Like, independent novices wanted to read this argument themselves, it would be good for them to be able to see the cards and highlighting, etc. These are these are all implications of the engagement argument, which is in the one I see now. Extend the engagement off proper or 
and problems. There are two wars. There are two wars. Where first one, point is that I, I, do, I cannot see what how you warrant these arguments or what warrants you got from you cutting the card because they're always multiple because you you might like change the warrants or insert, insert brackets in the card to make it hard for me to determine whether you or ex explain the warranty correctly. Some would be that cards always have multiple warrants and it's difficult for me to know what warrants you could go for because I can't best like I can't best or I can't best explain like I can't best and, and, and analyze the warrants and decide whether I can analyze those warrants correctly, which means it's impossible for me to engage. Yeah, but yeah. line by line, they say that your mind interpretation is worth some ways that no, you do have to read cards under my you read the cards under my interpretation. You just have to read them in a way that is more educational because we can read like what you have cut in your interpretation of the run, but also make our own interpretation. So point B is that only my interpretation gives out a way to call out evidence ethics. Also, I have to read it like before the round, in round, and then read it again in round and check whether you have missed out the cards, which makes it impossible for me to check your highlighting. I cannot possibly do all that in five minutes. So point C is this argument is not a reason to drop it. They haven't weighed this against any five. The only way it was done in the in the one and see also like you know, just because yeah, or, or, yeah yeah because like this argument was just not well explained enough. The next argument they just like repeat that you have to read the cards all over again. I'll explain that in, in the extension of the engagement standard because you have to read the, read the cards under my interpretation as well. The next read the cards argument like the impact turn thing. So point is that all the arguments say that I want to engage, I want to read the cards, I just want to read them correctly in an educational manner that allows me to like like understand what your interpretation is of them as well. So point is that this creates unfair burdens. I open source you can read all of my cards, but I can't read any of your cards. You just need an unfair advantage, and you never have to do any critical thinking because you can't just look at my open source cards. But I have to like look. I have to do like all this in depth research and like do way more research than you to increase the structural burden. So point is they just conceded here, so I wish we seen that this argument like can't go in anyway. The next argument is that this distracts from understanding of whiteness. This is objectively ridiculous. I was not the one who violated the shell and violated procedural fairness, making the in-round conditions structurally harder. They were the one who did that. All of the fairness, like abuse, or would contextualize why they should not get to like go for this argument. The uh, counter truth. The critical thinking evidence is just a repetition of what's about, like, you have to read the cards, which I answered above eight point, but also eight point turn you correct critical thinking because you, I can't read the outward arguments beforehand, makes it impossible for me to think if someone has turned you for superficial readings of, of the resolution. I only have five minutes of prepping even less because I can't read all of it because of what, before the one, I, I can't use all of it before the one, which is I get like a two minutes of scan through the entire app, all this dense scholarship, like stuff I've never heard of before, and I have to do it all in like a minute and 30 seconds or even less. That makes it impossible for me. Someone sees this misunderstood structural fairness. The argument is not just that if I, I, if I get better, it will solve no amount of like debate, drilling, and getting better at education will help me to like see what they highlight before they highlight it, which is that this does not solve the abuse story. Like they would have to explain why in order for why why, why like why this uh, does not answer like the structural fairness arguments. So on open source, they've conceded like a whole bunch of readings fairness numbers and they have not done enough work here. They just repeat, you have to read the cards. That misunderstands the abuse story because we have to read the cards under my interpretation. We just read them better. Uh topicality. The topicality impact is answer by all the fairness first arguments which indicate that I need to be able to weigh the, I need to be able to weigh the case, etc. The second or second one, but depending on the impact one, what is that portable what is that they don't explain what, what out portable skills we get but uniquely from the staff people have read case forever and it's never done anything for the real which is that this happens as an indication second is that fairness always on all the fairness always on, like subject to be cross applied so that fair to the topicality is a procedural burden and you should have to meet it just because asking you to like be asking you to be fair and educational is not some like unreasonable burden. It's just like can you can I engage in the round which is that this lingers all the round before this is another reason to vote me down to why topicality is wrong and they not articulated this is a drop of you should have a very high threshold for voting on this argument. Open source, they did not answer fairness that way. No new two AR articulations of that. They only had like one standard on the open source today. It was not sufficient, and they don't get to go for this team. Great. Starting prep.
American education races and teaches life topics and other reading curriculum focuses on the modern national identity. But we're going to accept that some team leaders who teach a pedagogy to misappropriate the schools and be able to see all these educational opportunities for us to potential. That's all heavy answers that OER must be placed as an actual portable in terms of application so people can read a curriculum salty. And the reason why this is the only kind of a method or approach to box turkey board is around the T shelf. You can't pretend that all the flows are disconnected from each other. You can see the giant erasure DA that the reactive reading team is erasing the history of kind of debate and critical engagement that changes with the debate. Louisville, Oklahoma, uh, Oklahoma Records, all the people who forwarded kind of notions about future pedagogy and uh, future pedagogy and not having that was able to change debate in the way we engage in critical scholarship. Do your uh, reading about debate history are not the reason why you don't think it made and change debate because you haven't looked into the history that the you all can feel the two other uh, one area way about why that I wait because you're literally erasing a history of people who have had to make changes in activity through the form and way that they read their one exceeds, which is the reason why uh, that should outweigh all their other arguments on that case. But also, you can see all the arguments of in the T-show that there is an impact to meeting interpretation because I'm not going to stop reading Nazi F similarly, and I won't probably, uh, I, I won't start doing the highlighting thing because of this round. Sorry, uh, sorry, Arnold. If that's the truth, then the only thing that matters is put the best survival strategy, which you can see the act does. Also, you can see the response to the act is presumptively false that I made in the T-show. You can't conceive the other flow. The argument was that it's not unique because black and indigenous scholarship is always deemed uncontestable or unengageable because of all the structural things we've made about how black, uh, black and indigenous scholarship that we push out of the university and the fringe. If you concede our structural claims, you've, you've proven that our non unique argument, which answers all your uncontestability often. Even if I, if I did not three point every single argument in the one AR, you've conceded one argument that answers every single uncontestability argument. The next argument is that you've conceded the under the disclosure shop. You can see the counter interpretation and uh, the counter interpretation of the race to the top where debaters will raise the most marginal interests and uh, try to win an office even paradigm. You've, uh, you've conceded that reasonability is far better because you, uh, and proven that you could engage because you spent the entirety of the one and see picking apart the evidence and reading lines from it. You can see the lines from the one error that if you can engage, if it is if you believe that they can engage in it because they picked apart lines from the evidence, that's a reason why there is no abuse on the disclosure, on the disclosure shell. And so you conceded that competing interpretation should not be the model that we use to evaluate the theory debate. You cannot go for all this fairness offense and education offense if you concede a competing interpretation because that is just a question of in-round abuse and you don't win any of that insofar as you have, uh, we have one reason why you spend uh, three minutes of the one and see picking apart all the evidence which proves there's no abuse and you could have engaged in it and you're just doing this to avoid uh, to abstract away from conversations about, about black and indigenous scholarship which supercharge the array
Congratulations to both graders for making it to the octofinals of the Grand Tournament. It is a 2 1 decision for the act. Um, I say, I guess I didn't really understand why the arguments he went for were different from the arguments the one and he was preempting, so that could just be I didn't get it or like, need a little bit more explanation. Um, the second thing I'd say is that for some of these in the one AR, I have like very little written down. Like I didn't even get reasonability, so I'm not sure where that was. Um, so a lot of times when I was like nodding my head in the two AR, I was like, wait a minute, where did this come from? And sometimes I couldn't really trace it back. Um, I will say, Neg, that I thought that your like responses to a lot of this stuff was like pretty bad. So like I think a way better response would be like I want to engage the literature, but time is finite. Instead of like you heard novices, like, there's like so much extraneous like things that don't really have an impact. Um, it definitely made it tough. And then I think just getting the framework with a little bit more time and like kicking it by like responding to some of these specific things instead of just being like hoping that fairness pulls through, um, I think that would have also probably helped as well. Um, but basically, I just think you need to engage that not like all the little minutia, but just like the fairness outweighs part, and I think you're fine. Um, so, is, was this more of like a problem with like uh, not getting it to it enough in the one AR, or do you think there was like a, a better pivot in the two AR than I could have? Um, I mean, maybe there was something else you could have done in the 2AR. I don't know exactly what that is, but I think the 1AR part would have, would have been the easy fix. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I agree with a lot of what was just said. Um, I think that the like, parts of the 2AR uh, could have been like, explicitly played better against the standards. Uh, but I have like, some specific thoughts on the interaction between the erasure descent and the fairness stuff, which I'll explain here. Uh, I went back and checked the like my flow for the 1 and C, and sort of this fairness first step is outweighed uh, as sort of flagged as fairness outweighs the case, uh, which makes sense, right? And then the 2 and R begins its explanation uh, in context to sort of cross application of the case's offense, predicated off these arguments of like uh, fairness is like a logical prerequisite to our ability to engage in positions in the first place. However, the erasure to set out this flag in the 1AR and then later explain in the 2AR is independent from winning any piece of case offense, right? Ria has made arguments about why the form of reading framework is bad and exclusionary and leads to things like erasure of debate history, which would seem to function on a higher level than winning any single part of the affirmative offense. So even if I think that fairness uh, means that you cannot cross apply the case, uh, Ria has effectively up layered and run the dissent to the form of winning framework that does not rely on her winning um, any case arguments or any case arg offense in the first place. Uh, because while I agree that the one AR was light on this place, and the two and R definitely wins these arguments about like prerequisite to engagement, uh, the only thing that the battle can rectify, etc. I just want to assume a world in which the impact turn to T operates on like a higher level than the case, uh, because the way that I think about this logically, uh, when my decision is that if the uh, one AR is like if the one C is horribly untopical and the one C reads T, but says like a slur in the one C, like I'm still going to like evaluate something else on a higher level, right? Uh, fairness first, uh, and fairness outweighs the case does not deny the fact that there are still real impacts to things like discourse and round, uh, which I think is like sufficiently explained in the one AR and the two AR. Uh, the second place that I vote affirmative is this reasonability competing interpret thing. Uh, I think that the two NR is woefully light on the competing interpretations versus reasonability debate. Uh, I think this implicates my decision in two ways. First, I agree that this does not answer the argument that Rhea makes in the one AR, that says that there's no impact to competing interpretations. The closest thing that I have to respond to this is in the two NR when the two NR is like well, you can rectify fairness with the ballot, whereas like education takes longer. And I think like whether or not, uh, I think that voting neg rectifies like inequity in round. And this may be true, but insofar as Rio wins a reasonable claim and you were still able to uh, engage with the app based on like the case, the stuff that you pulled out from the card in the case, uh, it seems to me that there's like minimal risk of unfairness insofar as the two AR goes for a reasonability claim. Uh, the last place that I think that I can vote is this evidence evidence ethics link turn in the 2AR. Um, I think that the 2AR just does not answer this. Uh, I would like the 2AR the to more explicitly weigh this against any of the standards, things like uh, ability to engage, etc. cetera. Uh, but insofar as I think that the negative interpretation leads to a proliferation of miscut evidence, um, I think that the way that I think about that is that if fairness matters, because this can only, uh, if fairness should be valued before education because it can only be rectified in the ballot, the 2AR contextualizes as cards will be like red in other rounds, which means that there will be more forms of unfairness in other rounds that I should interpret against that. Questions? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I thought that picking a line was sufficient to meet reasonability. Uh, I thought the counterintuitive was implicitly indicted your offense defense model. I thought reading the full source would, if anything, help you hone in on the parts of I thought you should have went for team implementation because it would have been better considering the app just does the resolution for future learning and doesn't defend a specific side of like non generic college implementation. And I wasn't too sure about like your cross applications. I just thought like maybe like they don't want to engage in your literature was maybe a little untrue. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I do have a question. So I get the competing. Yeah. Like the erasure to say, mm -hmm. but like on the evidence that 
basically. Mm -hmm. Did you think these arguments that are like my answer gives us a way to call out evidence that they seem like they do have brief cards? Yeah, so I got I that. that. Like no, well, so the reason why I, I like thought about that right. argument uh, and implicated whether I was going to run the link or not, uh, but I think the two errors explanation that's like people won't even bother to read the small text of the cards, right? Like even if there is a capacity to, it does not mean that people will, uh, which means that even if the interpretation theoretically allows for people to like check evidence ethics outside of round. Uh, it does not change the fact in the claim that Rita has made that like people just won't read cards. They'll steal cards and not read them. Uh, which means that the proliferation of one miscut card like snowballs. And this happens like all the time, right? Like a card will be like woefully miscut at the beginning of the topic and then like it'll be read and like people want to use like for months and months after. Uh, which I think is like a claim about like the way debaters uh, engage with like scholarship and things that are on the wiki uh, that the two are yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> um, I just have like, one question. Uh, do you think in the 1AR I should have just like, um, instead of doing a counter interp and then explaining it and then doing line line and then doing reasonability, just either pick one or the other to go for? Are you talking about on like disclosure? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know about anybody else on this panel, but I think like one reasonability, two, and I'm like move on, okay. and like that's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, it just like it seems like such a weird distinction and like I don't know, it's just like doesn't seem like that bad to me. <laughs> 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 I'm leaving now officially for real.